hey guys welcome back to my channel um i laugh every time i say hey guys okay today's video is october's meal plan with me um i have shared this before but i think it's worth sharing again i'm gonna share how i meal plan for the month i'm uh, mostly using pinterest and kind of what I do to plan out an entire month of meals at one time. So I'm going to start out showing you my screen on Pinterest and then we'll switch and I'll show you how I do like the meal plan in my planner. Um, I'm going to get a piece of paper and start writing down these meal ideas and kind of walk you through how I do what I do so that I can do this once and not have to think about it again for a whole month. Okay, let's switch. There we go. And that the trouble is finding a piece of paper. It's literally paper everywhere. That was a lie. Okay. So what I'm gonna do is okay, so first of all I have I get to my boards. <laughs> Pinterest, how do you work anymore? I don't even know. Um, nope, that's nope, that's not it. Nope. There we go. It's under save. Okay. Let's find my dinner. Why didn't that come up? Okay found it um, and then I also want to do another Pinterest window in a new tab for searching okay so first of all I have got this whole entire board for dinner ideas and I will share it um, in a link down below if you want to follow uh, I suggest making your own dinner board too that, uh oh what did I do um, that way you can save all of your favorite dinner ideas. Okay, so what I try to do is like, well, I know there's 30 days in the month. So if I can find 10 to 12 dinners that I know we like, um, I can double that. Like we can eat it twice during the month. And so that takes up. 24 of the days that might be a high number I might confine like eight I usually try to do one or two meals a week that are new that we haven't tried before and then we have like our favorites that I'll just weave in there in the extra spaces so let's find 10 dinners and the plus side about this is too, is if you are shopping for your groceries and you know that you're gonna eat something twice during the month and you find like chicken on sale or pork on sale or beef on sale, you can go ahead and get double because you know it's on your menu plan again in a week or two. So that's one reason I do it. It just really honestly makes things easier. I don't have to think. I don't know why meal planning seems to be like I just I don't like I don't know it's hard to think of new stuff to eat and like half the time everybody's like moaning and groaning about it so <laughs> I don't know okay so I know I want to do some soups so this is a recipe from my site that I know I want to do um, that I don't have a ton on here so we're gonna do some searching but Let's just scroll until we get a bunch loaded and we can go up. Oh, also what I'll usually do is I'll plan like the main course and then I know when I'm buying groceries, I just need to load up on vegetables because we'll do two vegetables with our main dish or whatever. So I buy like frozen broccoli or asparagus. Sometimes I have to go back midweek and get more fruits and vegetables, um, but that's okay. I just try to make sure that we have enough that we can do two vegetables with each dinner. 
if it doesn't already have vegetables in it. Obviously, some of them, like the chicken pot pie soup, that comes with vegetables already in it. Um, okay, this is also difficult because I'm also trying to lose weight. So I don't want to eat pasta or really anything that's super processed. I'm still using like cream of chicken soup. If it's in a recipe, I'm fine with that. Um, but the healthier I can keep it, the better. I picked a lasagna soup because it is one of our very favorites and we deserve to have it because it's officially soup time. It's <laughs> almost October. Um, all right, so I'm just gonna scroll. I might fast forward you through this part um, and then show you all of the dinners that I picked. But I'm also not eating processed bread because I just saw my sliders and I was like, ooh, that looks good, but it's not something that I'm eating right now. Um, pull up my site because a lot of our favorite recipes are on here and I want to do chili also if you're finding something on Pinterest like this isn't my website so I don't know I like to click over see this is what happens so let's do low carb shrimp scampi. A lot of times people's pins get stolen. Um, it just happens. Let's do this one. It's not necessarily a shrimp scampi, but that looks really yummy. served over rice that's been simmered with onions and garlic that sounds really good I do eat rice so and cauliflower rice okay so that's one now I want these to stop loading because they're gonna slow my computer down stop it they're not okay anyways we'll open a few and then we will write them down and then close them This is a really good chicken recipe. I've had it before. So we're gonna do that. And then if I wanna add, add a carb, I'll do rice or potatoes. I do eat that stuff. And sometimes I will make my kids a carb even though I'm not having one, just cause they need, they're not trying to lose weight, obviously. Um, okay. So that's one, two, three, four, five. This is a really good recipe, but it's pretty processed. It like it has the soup, but then it's also got two whole packets of gravy mix. <laughs> Let's see. This is one of my favorite meals, but it's super, it's, it's chock full of pasta. Why is this on my dinner pin thing? Okay, this was something I wanted to make. And I need to figure out if I can find a healthier pizza crust or something. Or I may just make them and we'll have them because the kids will love it. Let's see. That looks so good. Okay. Potatoes. I don't even have an instant pot. Easy orange chicken drumsticks. Those look good, but those are grilled, so that's false advertising. <laughs> um, 
when it comes to trying new things on Pinterest, it's really hard because some of these recipes are really terrible. Or maybe I'm terrible, but either way, some of them work out and some of them don't. So you just kind of have to be careful. All right. I'm going to find the rest of my 10 recipes and then I'll be right back. Okay, what I'm doing right now, that pen didn't work, but I can do her site and then do chicken and rice. And there it is. So I got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. I'm just struggling. Okay, let's go ahead and just do a search for um, clean eating family meals. Okay, I've resorted to chicken recipes. Oh, that looks good, but I bet it's a lot of cheese. These look good. Perfect. Perfect. Okay. So that's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven meal ideas. And these we can repeat one time. And then by the time I add like leftover days, or I usually do one day a week, that's just I don't plan anything. And it's either for leftovers or eating out or. My husband wants to cook something specific, so we'll do that. And then if there's any other spaces left, I will fill them in with just some of our favorite things like taco bowls or something like that. Okay, so I'm going to write these recipes down. I'll show you what all I picked. Wait. <laughs> um, chicken scampi with garlic parmesan rice. I'm going make chicken bites, which I would do with air fryer potatoes. Um... The pizza meatballs, which I would probably make some vegetables to go with. Just in these. Pepperonis. Um, yeah, and I would just buy my own sauce. I would make that really simple. And serve this with veggies or even french fries would be fun. Um, I do eat french fries. So, slow cooker pork chops, 
that one pot chicken and rice, meatloaf in a muffin tin, and I have another recipe that I like that is like a uh, cheeseburger meatloaf that is done this way, but I want to try and do a regular meatloaf in a muffin tin. And you make them in a muffin tin because it cooks super fast. Um, chicken pot pie soup, one pot lasagna, we're going to probably eat this once because it does have pasta. And then brown sugar and garlic chicken, which I will serve with rice or potatoes. Creamy garlic shrimp, which I will either serve, I might do that with more mashed, or not mashed, but rice cauliflower. And then chili, which we're definitely doing this twice, probably on football Saturdays. Okay, I'm going to write these down and I will meet you over there at my filming spot to talk about how Murado is in my planner. Okay, so I've got my list of meals that we found and I'm gonna use this black pen. So what I'm gonna do is I need to put the dates. Okay, the first is on a Thursday. I know we're gonna be doing something different is Halloween so I'm gonna take each one and put it into two weeks that are not next to each other um, so let's just do chicken bites and chicken bites. then chicken scampi and chicken scampi. Then pizza meatballs. And pork chops. Um, oh, also, I forgot to mention when I was doing the Pinterest part, make sure you save your recipes to Pinterest so that you can find them easier. Um, you can make yourself like a dinner's board and set it up to save all your recipes. And that way, like when I go to cook dinner, I don't have to hunt down the recipe. I can just go to my dinner's board and there it is. Um, also, I need to plug in some more out or leftover days and we won't necessarily eat everything in this order I can move things however I need to um, but this just gives me like a list of things that we can cook and it'll be easy to sit down like the week before and plug those in on the night that I want to have them um, and also, since I've got all these recipes in my dinner's board, it'll be easy when I go to do my grocery pickup order to just pull up the recipe, plug in the ingredients in my grocery order, and go on about my life. So, uh, let's do chicken and rice. And I try my best to space it out so that we're not eating like chicken three days in a row or we I mean we eat a ton of chicken so it's hard but um, it works pretty good and then we'll do chili I'm just putting this in because I'm thinking about it I know I want that to be on a weekend um, the meatloaf muffins And then chicken pot pie soup. And 
Lasagna will do. Brown sugar, garlic chicken. We'll just have that once. Um, garlic shrimp. And I did chili. Okay, so I've got one, two, three, four, five slots to fill. Now, some things that I know that we like. Taco bowls, egg roll in a bowl. And we're going to do a girl in a bowl twice. And then taco bowls. And then we can plug in like some fish. We could do some salmon. And then why not salmon? And there we go. There's all of our meals. So it makes it really easy. You just find 10 meals and then plug in with some of your other favorites. And if you have a ton of things that you know your family likes to eat, by all means, make your 10, your list of 10 out of those meals. Um, things that we've had before on here, we've had that, we've had that, we've had that and that and that and that. So the technically the only things that we've never tried are these things, but I kind of know like, as long as the recipe turns out, it's going to be something that my family likes. So, I hope this was helpful. I hope this gave you some meal planning inspiration. Um, it doesn't take long, and especially once you get your dinner ideas board built up, you won't have to even search anywhere else because you'll have so many recipes ide recipe ideas on there that you like. Obviously, if you try one and it stinks, just go in your board and delete it so that you don't try to make that again. Um, yeah, I hope you liked this video. Please give it a thumbs up if you did. Uh, subscribe to my channel for more planner and planning videos. And I will see you in my next one. Bye.